good? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Let's spin around. We'll get his van in the background a little bit. Okay. Okay. You can look at me. You've done it a thousand times. <laughs> yeah. Diana, come for me a little bit. There we go. Okay. So my first question to you is, how did you know Teresa? Well, Teresa used to come out here all the time, take pictures of my vehicles, and to put them in the book. Okay. And so how long had have you known her? I've been using the book for a year, a little over a year, maybe, somewhere in there. And when she came out here, what you all business? What was your personality like? Same thing every time. You know, hi, how you doing? You know, mostly that. And say about five minutes, and out she goes again. Okay. So how did you first hear that she was here? When the cops came up by the house, by my mom and dad, and they asked me if she was out here and that. And I said, yeah. And then they asked me what time. Um, around 2, 2.30. You know, that's what she mostly comes out, you know, 2, 2.30. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, it was one time, it was 3 o'clock. And then when she left, which direction was she going? I mean, did she seem fine? Did she seem agitated? Same thing, normal. But then she went out to the road and, you know, she goes to a LRB. I don't know where she goes, you know, after that. Because you know, the field's all open, you know, you can see. So, so which direction was she going in? Towards Larby. Okay. Did she mention any other appointments that day or anything like that? No, I don't think so. Because most of the time she takes a picture, then she runs down the sewer number. Then she comes and collects the money, and, and that's about it. Okay. So, what kinds of questions were police asking you? This one, she was out here, with time, around. Mm. That was about it. Mm. Did they ask you to take a polygraph or anything like that? No, no. Well, tonight, cops come and they asked me if I remember anything. And I told them no. no. And then they asked me if they can come in the house and check the house over. I said, oh, I got no problem with that, come on in. So they checked the house all over. Well, everything was fine, and they left. Mm -hmm. If they asked you to take a polygraph, would you? Would you not? And why? Well, I got nothing to hide. They want me to, but I don't care. I'm just at home, work up there all day. I barely go anywhere. Once in a while, I go to Manitou, I can come back. But that's about it. So, so when you heard about it, how did you feel? It's too close to home, something happening. Uh, it's not good. Everybody locks their doors now around here. Well, it's pretty bad when something happens around here. Now, I can see somewhere else, but this is too close to home. And you get a little worried and you know your family. <clears throat> and it does it, I mean, knowing her, I mean, I, are you, what are your feelings for her parents and they must be going through hell. You know, I figure my mom and my dad and everybody else, my family, they went through hell when I went to, to did 18 years for something I didn't do. I figured they're going through probably the same thing because they lost somebody or whatever. You know, she's got to be out there somewhere, so somebody should be looking. Okay. Um, so how, when she takes pictures of the car, how does she usually do it? I mean, just kind of the front angle or what, what angles of the car does she usually do? Mostly from the front and the side. You know, stands right there. She drives up to it and takes the picture and that's it. Does it strike you as weird? I mean, do you think this is kind of odd? Yeah. But there's stuff happening in the world all over. You know? But this is just too close to home for me. You know, and I'm involved. I don't. I don't feel good. You know. Then I got all the heat on me again. I did enough time. I learned my lesson. I didn't do nothing wrong. I mostly stay home, mind my own business. So now all of this is happening. So then I find out that she's out here, and now she's missing. 
And I'm wondering the same thing. Where is she? Where'd she go? I know people are on the way, but there's got to be a reason. So, yeah, I'm wondering what all of that, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, stay right there for a second. Did you that? Yep. Okay. I think everybody's in the room. Should... <laughs> Can you show us the van a little, please? No, just outside's fine. Just kind of. So this is the van, huh? Yeah, there's the van. How much you asking? Make an offer. <laughs> <laughs> what make and model is that? Is this where it was when she took the picture? So, um, have they asked you to come in at all? 